Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. Uh, if you enjoy my content, please come join me on Patreon. I'm only charging 29 US dollars per month, and then you'll get uh, better content actually. And that will be, uh, I won't say better content, it will be the same content, but it will be uh, finding a way of supporting me. So if you're interested in my content, come join me on my Patreon. And for now, uh, all of my content I am um, sharing it on YouTube, but I definitely will will restrict that in in the future. First of all, in today's video, we are going to discuss about Dow Jones, uh, U.S. Index 500, and uh, we'll also look at British pound and euro, showing very interesting prices uh, reaction action, and we will also uh, dive into silver and gold giving us uh, an indication where exactly the prices are heading and then we'll definitely definitely look at um, crude oil so if you guys are interested about my call uh, some of you guys might have taken this call uh, come give me a thumbs up and we'll talk more about crude oil and see where exactly things are heading if you are trading Dow Jones or stock market there is very very bad news I hope that this news is a constraint and it's not um, spill over doesn't happen in to the general public in the because we are into the I believe that we are into the beginning of the larger larger uh, cycle degree wave for uh, bearish price movement in Dow Jones in US uh, index 500 and not only in US indexes but also into the world indexes because most of them actually follow uh, US economy and they move together so things are looking really bad and uh, by this I mean it's things are looking really really bad we'll look into where exactly we're looking first of all here is a weekly chart it will give you an idea that we actually went almost like a straight vertical line so it's time to come down now this is what my reading is that we are going to go down for an extended period of time uh, we may we may uh, go back to six thousand dollar points uh, six thousand points uh, in Dow Jones all right that might not happen I, I'll be really happy if that does not happen but things are not looking great as far as the analysis is concerned so on a smaller time frame we can, let's see where we can uh, take the trade and now a lot of people are enjoying this uh, this push that went up right from over here they are thinking that it has gone up and they're seeing a five wave structure now no for God's sake please uh, I already told you guys two possibilities are happening at this point. We can consider it as a wave one and a corrective wave two, and we can consider this as wave one and a corrective wave two. The second possibility is devastating, and that is we have wave one and whole of this is wave two. In that case, we have an extended period of time in correction, and this is a zigzag, and this is another zigzag, and this is an exp expanded flat happening. So a double three is happening on a daily time frame, and that's the best time frame to to trade. To you will be able to take benefit. I did indicate to you guys that this uh, price movement should be expected to turn, and we have already seen turn already. So let's have a look on four hourly time frame, and we can draw this trend line. Uh, apart from uh, this is the trend line, we can see that we have broken off the trend line already, and I gave you guys that we had a support here. We can move up over here when prices go up and then we definitely have move up right now we can see that prices did cross the support bar and but we are seeing some sort of bounce on a 15 minute chart that's much very visible all right so i am still waiting for the break of uh, 34565 once this break happens then we can definitely find a confirmation that we are bearish on uh, Dow Jones and if you do become bearish on Dow Jones you need to put your stop loss in this region not in this region because there is a possibility that this can move sideways although it's less likely therefore I want you guys to put your uh, reference points uh, for your trade for short trade in this area uh, and then we'll be definitely shorting next few days are going to be very very interesting as far as Dow Jones and S&P 500 is concerned I'm completely bearish. We not only have seen the top in the last week, but we have also seen prices dropped off. And I think Monday shall bring the prices lower. And uh, once that happens, then a sudden crash is expected in Dow Jones. Is because we are seeing one, two, one, two, or either we are seeing one and two. In both cases, a huge, huge correction in terms of days has happened. And it's all distribution. It's all it is is distribution. 
this is definitely definitely um, a, a pattern which will uh, pull a lot uh, of uh, bulls in and then it will spill them out so very bad news for people who are trading stock market we are seeing a similar pattern in in S&P although S&P is giving an indication that we can now consider this as a one a B and C we can consider this as a double three uh, structure uh, for Elliott wave analysis is concerned the price did go up but I'm pretty sure if you guys have some in, uh, experience with Elliott wave analysis then definitely definitely uh, we can clearly see the structure of expanded flat A and B and C a zigzag or a double zigzag and then we have single zigzag or double zigzag off from the top and then we can see the whole structure like this one this gives an idea that so much time has been spent on uh, distribution it's time to go down we can definitely use uh, the percentage tool that will be run from top to bottom and we can see that the bounce came off at 75 percent uh, and it's pretty pretty interesting we also can look at this bounce also went into the so one of the collective structure within the impulsive move as well so this is all very thing indicating that we are looking toward a stronger bearish price action in S and B. If uh, any of you are trading in stock market, is definitely, definitely a huge, huge red flag, and we are expecting, and um, the whole cycle, bear cycle, is in action. If that is the case, um, then we have very bad news for the world as a whole, because when the stock market crashes, it's the precursor of problem with the economy. let's have a look at British pound we have seen um, some price action in British pound you are expecting for British pound to go uh, up in that area we have seen initially price action and a correction and so far it has not been able to actually go in that territory uh, I'm still bullish on uh, British pound there nothing has changed we have spent a lot of time in here we'll uh, definitely look into this uh, on a smaller time frame but I'm still bullish on uh, on British pound there's nothing has changed and uh, we can see uh, that next week is going to come bring us some bullish price movement on a 15 minute chart let's have a look so you can consider this as wave A a wave B and we can consider this as an ending diagonal of a flat correction so this considered can be considered wave 1 wave 2 uh, wave 3 wave 4 so a little more push is expected downward alright if this is the expanded uh, the ending diagonal which is not relevant to the expanded flat we are considering and is connected to the previous private structure in that case the price can dip below this particular low as well so what we can do right now to avoid any sort of problem first of all here is the trend line that covers the outer trend line we can draw an inner trend line to give us an idea so we can stay away from it and as prices move downward first of all we can use this horizontal support right over here and when prices move further downward we can definitely use bring it right over here and when prices go above that that will be our confirmation to go long I'm definitely bullish on British pound we are uh, I told you guys initially that I'm bullish on British pound and we're expecting for the br the swing to go all the way right over here once again I did indicate that we are going to see impulsive corrective impulsive corrective and impulsive price action euro is a little different we already have seen two three swings happening in euro right over here we can see we have seen a bullish action correction another bullish a correction another bullish correction uh, so you guys can consider it as a whole bullish and a correction and a bullish and correction and impulsive wave in either case my analysis is indicating that we are strongly bullish on euro euro is uh, the reason I said euro is different because euro has created some wave structure already ahead of uh, British pound so I'm expecting that this price movement the next week should be the end of the bullish price movement that actually started right from over here so next week trading should be the end of the bullish price action next four or five days should actually move decidedly euro upside in this area and that will be the it of uh, for euro and then we'll start looking for a correctional pattern that should take the prices downward let me repeat again 
that I am right now bullish on Euro. I'm expecting bull Euro, Euro to all go all the way right over here. We can see Euro has uh, already entered in this area and come back. So the next area that we have is right over here in this region right over here. Can it cross this area and go in this area? Definitely it can cross this area and go in this territory. Once it reaches this next three to four trading days, either this one or this one, and you see a correction ha happening or you see an impulsive return, that will be a sign that you should actually get out because we are yet not done the bearish side. How long the bearish side could be, we'll discuss that later. But once this price movement is ha uh, complete, uh, we should isolate our trade, uh, the bullish trade from the bearish trade. What means that the bullish sh trade should be completed and we should wait for the price section to give us turn onto the bearish side. Gold and silver definitely, definitely send, uh, testing our nerves. A lot of things, ha I want to bring this to your attention. I want to really bring this to you, your attention. And please look at this. This is important structure right over here. We have bullish move right over here. I'm just giving us an example, okay? Just don't get confused. And then we have corrective wave right over here, all right? And then we have bullish move right over here. And then we have corrective move right over here. This structure, it happened so much times in my trading that I have seen. And it's very, very testing in terms of patience. That's exactly what we are seeing right now, that we have seen a huge impulsive wave, a deeper corrective and impulsive or corrective. All right, this is right I'm, re I'm referring to, that we have seen a huge uh, impulsive, we have seen corrective right over here, giving us an indication, and then we are right now seeing impulsive and corrective. So this particular movement when it happens is going to be a sudden price movement. All of a sudden people will find out that the bottom has been found. Let me drop this all and then we can talk a little more. All right, first of all, I'm right now looking at it as an impulsive, corrective, impulsive. There is a possibility that the price can come down right over here. Yes, there is a completely possibility. We can definitely look at it as an A, B and C. However, this structure area, the, the support area is extremely, extremely important. That's why I indicated time and again that this area should be considered as a reference point to go long in gold and silver. We have a similar pattern in gold, we'll look into it. So I'm definitely bullish on gold and silver right over here. I'm not betting on this fall whether, whether it will happen or not. So I'm long and gold and silver putting my stop loss just beyond this uh, support area. All right. This way, if the price actually comes down, I'm protected. And if it goes above, I'm protected. All right. So uh, we are next few days are looking to me that we have kind of completed some sort of correction pattern and we should go up. The alternating count is that we can come down in this area and jump back up again. So you do not want to miss if you want to be really protected about that uh, coming down price movement. You should wait for the prices to go cross $25. And if that, that if this is what you want to do, then that's your choice. I'm definitely long on gold and silver. I think that we are very close to moving the top. And once again, this top should be uh, very interesting to see in gold and silver. All right. Gold we have, uh, let me see if you can see some price action. So on a, on a hourly time frame, uh, first of all, let's get the support zone out of it. This is once again an important support zone for gold and silver. This is the same zone that we have talked about in silver and this is in gold. So we definitely can put our stop loss just beyond 1980 area. And we are right now long on gold and silver. I'm expecting that price should actually carry on in gold. Just in case, if there is a possibility, that actually price can come down before going up then this area should definitely definitely protect it and then we can go long right from over here if you are concerned that you do not want to see that happening then you should wait for the break of the top right over here which is 1950 all right 
so I'm bullish on gold and silver we are expecting strong and bad news for Dow Jones because the one thing I'm expecting is should not cut the once the bearish um, cycle starts I hope that it does not cut the number of jobs in in the market uh, we are definitely long on British pound and uh, euro we are long on gold and silver and for euro I've told you guys that next week price movement should be isolated the trade should be isolated from any future trades because there is a possibility that we are gonna see uh, the end of the bullish price movement in euro in next three to four uh, maybe five trading days so euro is once again very interesting British pound however is different because British pound is yet away from the top target right over here it's gonna spend quite a bit of time in this range and now crude oil so um, I, I know when I last time I indicated you guys that we are considering this as a wave 1 and 2 and 3 and we can consider this as A, B and C and expanded flat and although expanded flat is very very uh, time consuming wave 4 is very time consuming then 2 it does happen from time to time the way the price acted I gave indication to you guys that we are bearish on crude oil and that's exactly what we are seeing right now however I'm considering that this price action should be a 5 wave structure all right it could, could be uh, that we have completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 right now and 5 but what I'm seeing right now is we have more bearish price action left on our side so I'm considering right now I'm not gonna take this trade what I'm giving you guys now is a B and C I'm not going to take this trade and once the price actually hovers in this area or in this region that pull back should give us uh, another chance to join the trend that actually started from over here if the correction is already complete we are bearish on crude oil all right so these are the alternate counts that we have right over here both things are indicating that we are bearish on crude oil and uh, if you see a correction definitely join in the trend if you don't see a correction don't worry about it the people who are already in the trend should break even and wait for the prices to move further down so I'm clearly bearish on crude oil I'm expecting for crude oil to fall further down uh, before actually we can make some uh, correction right over here wish you good luck if you guys uh, enjoy my content please press that thumbs up and uh, do mention some content I read every single comment uh, that you guys post uh, sometimes I will react sometimes I won't but I definitely read all of them. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.